Hello, Sagittarius. It's Lulu by Love with House of Oshun. How y'all doing? Okay. This is your March spiritual conversation. Okay. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate it. Any information that you need will be in the description box. We will start. It's for sun, moon, and rising. Or wherever it is in your chart. Right? Now then, we will start with a crystal message from Judy Hall using the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle. All right. Um, I was led here today um, on the readings that I did today to do these um, because there is a shift in um, energies here. And, you know, I don't know what y'all up against out here, but let's remain calm, people. I've been in a meditative state all day. I like it. It's beautiful. Haven't been in one for a while. Miss. I like it. God, dog. Eye of the Storm. This is a, 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 a crystal called Eye of the Storm. You see. Now, what I'm going to do is read from this book. I don't usually read. I don't hear them. But I'm doing as I am led, as usual. Now then, as you concentrate on this card, here we are. Eye of the Storm is a safe haven for your soul, a calm center, no matter what upheavals may occur. A life support system during during stressful times or serious illness. Hold on to it. Dur hold on to it <laughs> during challenges so that you keep things in perspective. Okay, um, you may be allowing the challenges and traumas of life to push you off center. Stress and pressure are a major cause of your dis-ease. You could be focusing too closely on one aspect of your life to the detriment of others. Look at the bigger picture. Okay? This is an earthy and high frequency. This is for all chakras, as well as the timing is of any. So any, um, this lipstick is everywhere. I like it, but it's messy. All right. So this can be used at any time. There's not a specific sign that you could use, that you have, that you should use this for. Um, this is walking safely through the storm. That's your soul path at this time, where you are. Okay. Now, my also my uh, disclaimer, because you see my nose is red like Rudolph, right? The last couple of videos, um, especially with Pisces, it happens a lot. But um, the last couple of videos, my nose has been itching. Okay. Just letting you know, I may have some unexpected company or something. <laughs> I doubt it. Wishful thinking, what? All right, look at this. Personal power, clarity and vision, third eye popping. Now, everybody I got, so it, it must be real high. Intuition is very, very high. So just, you know, remain grounded here um, in order for you to see what, um, you know, what needs to be done and what, what, what can be done, what can't be done, what um, requires your attention, what doesn't. Getting in tune with your star player, okay? So third eye. What information do you have for my beautiful Sagittarius? It is important for people to also remember that the votes for the month of March videos, those voting, that voting happened in February on the community page. Thank you. Ooh. So y'all have um, recently, re you may recently feel as though you are getting back on track, really um, back in, like you've really come full circle with being in tune with your star player. You're very nurturing. You are welcoming in um, love um, internally as well as externally. Here, you're welcoming that. Um, I feel like you're being very soft. Your approach towards things in life is very soft. There's a soft approach there. Um, it feels as though you, there's a gentleness hmm, about you. They're saying here that it's important for moving forward that you speak your truth. You may be speaking your truth um, to a water sign or a fire sign, but there's some truth that needs to be spoken. Uh, you may have gone through some things that you felt weak, but you are always strongest when you are weak because that's when you are more open and allowing here um, to receive information, to uh, reevaluate your situation. Yes? Your personal power is increasing. 
here. It feels like you are taking charge of some things here and you are doing it from a space of, it may be Leo energy, but you are doing it from a space of knowing that you have what it takes to do it. You just have to find the strength within to move forward because I really feel like you may have come out of a space of a, a very strong download, which realigned you with um, your soul's your, your soul's purpose. What I heard. What else? I heard it. <laughs> there may be uh, someone that you are dealing with here who um, helps to will or is here to help you with um, being even more optimistic than you already are. It's like y'all are one and the same, you and this person. It could be your partner. It could be anyone. It could be your mom. It could be your aunt. She look like an aunt. Or it could be a man with fem the feminine uh, energies. Because I've noticed that a lot of men are getting even more in tune with their femininity. Their, di their divine feminine. Let's say that. Someone is um, going to um, assist you in... Um, some unconsidered options here. I feel as though there may be a need to um, hear this person out, um, come from a very passive space because they have some information that you really do need. Hear them out. Um, you have a number of options that are available to you. You and um, you may be deciding on um, a business deal or which way you want to take your business next or something like that, marketing strategies. Because I feel like y'all are... Um, Shaking hands, shaking hands, doing a lot of handshakes. So you may be um, in search of a new attorney. Um, I feel like you're shaking someone's hand who's in a position of power. They have something that you need, but there has to be some type of negotiation or um, something like that. You, some of you may even be consulting with um, a doctor, lawyer, whoever. This could also be school. But you're, you're um, consulting here, uh, trying to figure something out on which direction to go. I feel like you're going to have an aha moment. I feel like you will take some time out to um, really rest and recuperate or just really uh, go within to see which way you should go with this. Because there's a number of things, a number of things laid out on the table. Okay. Oh, sorry. And I, and I hope these cards aren't loud. Now, it's a lot of Leo energy. Gemini. A lot of spiritual power. There is um, a spark of creativity. Some of you will, once you have this aha moment, some light is illuminated um, on um, wh where you are and where you are headed. Um, some of you may even have recently wrote a book or had a book published and it's really gaining momentum and sales here. I also feel as though um, some of you may be out by water and get some type of confirmation from a goddess floating on the water. It's floating on the water. Okay. Something about a genie in the bottle. I don't know if y'all dancing around to that or something. Whatever. I need to listen to it. I need to dance to it. But I really feel as though um, your focus is shifting. I also feel as though... Um, someone's throwing you a surprise party. Okay. It ain't y'all birthday, so I don't know what kind of party this is. Um, there's a, a heightened sense of love. Like, there is a lot of love power in March for you here. There may be... Um, Is for one person, and over here we don't care how crazy y'all think we are. But somebody fish talk to them, get a lot of insight from your fish, and your fish is going to inform you of. I don't know if you go by the bubbles in the water, or how the fish when you ask the fish a question the way that it swirls like this. You know what I mean? How it go? It, it, it goes. It swims right to say yes, yeah, swims left to say no. What? <laughs> Look, I don't think you're crazy. You already know I'm not judging it. I talk to my dog. Remember? Whatever. And that's where um, you will get a lot of information from. I feel as though there is, um, yeah, okay. Again, with the relationship, I feel as though 
there is possibly um, an engagement party or someone is getting engaged at a, um, being proposed to um, at a, some type of event or a party here. But the relationship is ascending to a higher level. This relationship is going to the next level, right? Um, there's um, your own, you have common goals with this person. There's that. Yeah, I'm seeing here where your uh, self-care, you will be clear about what it is that you want moving forward. You will be clear about your connection to those closest to you. There's a deeper appreciation for those around you as well as even yourself, right? This is a lot of self-awareness um, as well to me. Excuse me. I feel as though you will move into a space of um, having joy, bliss, happiness. There may be a vacation that you and your significant other are taking or you're taking the kids somewhere. Here soon, um, you, you ha haven't decided on where you're going, but you're, you want to go somewhere for like a three-day weekend or something like that. Beautiful. Okay. Ooh. Um, I feel like by the time you come back from whatever this is that you are going into, or even if it's just you having to go and shake all these hands and feel like you have a, there's a positive outcome here, some of you will be um, waiting to hear back. Um, this could be anything, but you'll be waiting to, you'll be waiting to see how, okay. It feels like you will be very patient in the unfoldment of whatever it is that you have set out to do, what um, any um, money that you are trying to make off of something. You will be sitting back um, awaiting the unfoldment of the work that you've put in to see how that works. Um, for some reason, you may be an artist, some type of artist. And a lot of clarity has come in. Someone told you that this looks good. This We just have to pass this through so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so. and so, you know, you go into this space of um, even more creativity, waiting for that and taking time out with your family and just enjoying life. And then you're sitting back and you're waiting. And I feel like a partnership is um, um, solidified at that time now. It is a shit storm coming, but the shit storm has much to do, I feel, with um, heightened um, emotions. There's some type of uproar or shift that will be occurring by the end of the month. I don't feel like it's bad because what it's doing is putting fire on the yays. Okay? Some of you are being thrown into a new process and you're just like, wait a minute, whoa, 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 I wasn't prepared, but you're going to take action. Um, I feel like you'll already feel this coming and you'll know what action you're going to take. You won't have to hesitate or think it think it um, over a thousand times. You will just literally know. And what's, what it's going to do is um, send you to a space where you will actually receive, like you will benefit from the, whatever this storm is, some type of way, because it, it, it gets you moving. So you will benefit from whatever the storm is. I'll clarify here in a second. There's an increase in wealth, an increase in value. Blossoming abundance is yours, Chicken Little. The coins is falling by the end. The money is coming through, Chicken Little. Okay. I feel as though um, this is all divine timing. So just be mindful of that. Things are working out in the background. Okay. Be mindful of that. Everything happens when it should and how it should because I really feel like when this comes, it may be a surprise. Because you may be in the middle of doing so many other things, running errands and blah, 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 and having to go here and being pulled this direction, and boom, the coin falls. I'm excited for you. There's an offer coming through that you, um, you, you had already started the initial process, and by the end of the month, um, the next step or the next level of something is coming through for you, which is going to be emotionally fulfilling. I don't know why I keep my, my sinus is draining. That's the only issue I be having. Go do some third eye meditations. Now then, told your ass, wish fulfillment. You found the star with your name on it. 
Okay. This was uh, destined to happen. It had to happen. A choice was made and you moved on that choice and you took action. Now, it may be that you are blending or blending. Well, okay. You just mesh well with Aries, possibly Sagittarius. Um, I feel as though you're going with the ebb and flow of things by the end of the month. You are really um, sitting um, in a space where you are in charge of a number of things. You may even have gotten a promotion or you're like a manager now. You're no longer just maybe managing a company. You may even um, a business for you overall. You may have been waiting for some type of bid or waiting for something to come through so that you could, um, so that you could like maybe a loan, so that you can continue to move forward in your business. Okay. There may be someone who is older than you or someone who um, you have to communicate with here regarding um, some type of legality, and they just want you to temper yourself, uh, temper your emotions here. I feel like you will be, your, your awareness is heightened by the end of the month, so you, you will naturally do this anyway. I, I'm just confirming and affirming. That's it. I feel as though um, something is something. Some of you may be appealing a case, appealing a decision here. Not necessarily just a case, but appealing, or you know, wanting that to be reviewed. Want something has to go back into review, right? Because you feel like no, we can get more out of this situation. Well, that, that that's not fair. Is how it may be towards the end of the month. This is you or someone in your energy, right? Close to you. I feel as though there's going to be a need for balance. So that's what you're seeking by the end of the month. You're seeking that balance. You are very optimistic, enthusiastic about the balance here. And that Leo may be helping in this situation as well or whoever that auntie is, your auntie. Okay. Everybody don't call them aunties, but that's your auntie. It's your mama's sister, your dad's sister. Okay. This is a great auntie. All right. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry. Now then. Things are being shifted. I feel like you have, you're very optimistic about the outcome of a certain situation, and it will be shifted in a manner in which you come out on top. I feel like it. Some of you uh, need to get out and put your feet in some water. Even if you can just do it at home, put your feet in some Epsom, Epsom stuff. It's time for a foot detox. Fruits of your labor paying off. You will be feeling triumphant. You will be feeling, because you believed in yourself, you believed in the outcome so much. There's an increase in wealth and value for you by the end of the month. I also feel as though many of you will have a lot of people cheering you on, but you're not thinking about the cheering on because you've cheered yourself on. That's how it works in most cases. Because people are cheering on so long, but you know, you got to have that self cheerleader going on in order to survive and to continue to survive. I feel as though um, this is going to be unbelievable for some of you. Like, oh my goodness, this shit really worked. Yeah. You did what you needed to. You got on your right path right here. You gave out all that love. Stood in your truth, stood in your power. Waited for things to happen. Here. There's a conception of new ideas. That aha moment that you had about all of these unconsidered options and ways to go and hands you had to shake. I feel as though there's um, a need. Some of you may be an intern here or um, with this, with where you are, with this new, um, this, this, this new idea or this new project, this new way of making money, whatever this is, this new spiritual belief, the work that you have put in, I feel like you're doing, um, you're looking over what you've done, how you've done, how do you want to do things moving forward. Because of that idea, you are shifting the way that you do certain things, the way that you think about certain things, the spiritual power that you use in certain avenues. Yes. Okay. Some of you are warming up to um, new ideas. Um, this new idea feels like one major one, and the rest of them, of course, they go in, they, 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 in a, they, they go with them like this, the other ideas, right?
you will be uh, looking into what it is that you need to or want to put into put your energy and time into moving forward what can you put your money into moving forward what are you investing in what's worth it what's worthy here um some of you may get a stock tip okay you may get some type of stock tip and um you will be thinking of um how much money you're going to put in is there a split things like that when you'll be like stock shit i'm getting me to start lying I know how it work. It just trying to explain it. Can't do it. Y'all know what it is. What is this potential difficulty? Yeah, someone. You may find out that um, someone didn't give you a lot of information, and you get pissed off. You may find out that um, someone may have taken um, taken something. And lied about it, but I also feel like you know there's so much that you need to do. Some of y'all get to a point, get gonna come to a point <laughs> where there's so much for you to do. You don't feel like doing nothing. like this is all I'm doing, and you 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 figuring out what what can't what can't be done. Um, there's a hurried um, a need to a hurried feeling here. That's where that taking action comes in as well. Taking what you can and leaving the rest. But there's a um, a need to like when this when this shit hits. This has to do with family. This has to do with the family dynamic balance, as well as um, finances as well. Someone may have even there may be some um, issues over family inheritance that causes some issues. It's okay. The truth will be revealed. I feel like a lot of things will like um, some things will be revealed. Okay, so I won't even worry about it. There may be um, an offer coming in from a Leo or Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. really feel like Pisces. But an offer may be coming in. Someone may want to be married or um, take things to the next level or want to introduce you to their family here. I feel as though an offer will be made to you um, when you are strolling about, minding your business. And someone cannot, like they, be mindful of that though because anyone who, um, tries to fast talk you when it comes to a relationship telling you all these things they barely know you ain't trying to even find out what you like they just telling you all the stuff that worked on other people be mindful um, I feel like someone may be saying um, that their family has this and their family has that and all that uh, actions speak louder than words okay alright Sagittarius that is your reading darling I love you long time okay bye